So in real life, I'm kind of a lot like Princess Fiona. Um, you know, I'm down to earth. I, I like to have fun. Um, I do theater. <laughs> I just graduated from college um, about a year ago. And this is my first job. Wow! Yeah. You're doing so it's, this already. Yeah, it's really exciting. Like I, I never thought that I would be able to. So you kick yourself like, every morning. Hey. This is real. <laughs> I'm I'm real. This is happening. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm just like a quirky, funny. I mean, I think I'm funny. Sometimes. So you fit the role. <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate to her a lot. But um, as Princess Fiona, I'm basically I've been locked in this tower for 23 years, mm. waiting for this Prince Charming to come rescue me, and um, I'm kind of going stir crazy like I'm like bipolar at this point and um, then Shrek comes to rescue me and I, I think it's some like knight in shining armor but he takes his helmet off and like it's an ogre which I turn into at night so I was like great um, a witch cast a spell on her when she was seven years old yeah so that's why her parents sent her away to this you know isolated tower where she could kind of figure herself out and like yeah. break this spell um, she knew or she didn't she knew she, knew, she, she knew. knew so every night she turns into an ogre but she wants to get rid of that by kissing her true love <coughs> when that happens then she, she just gets to stay as she is normally as a princess so when shrek shows up she's like great he's an ogre too <laughs> guess i'll never escape <laughs> everyone is happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Where are you from exactly? I'm from the United States, I'm from New Jersey. Oh, did you see that? Um, now, tell me the madness that is backstage. The madness? Okay, mm. well there's a lot that goes on. So there's a bunch of crew people backstage and they, they help us with the props and the set and the lighting and all that other stuff and we always kind of like joke around with each other, play some games. There's like inside jokes that go on backstage that the audience has no idea. I about. want to know, can we know some of the inside uh, jokes? Mm, I'm trying to think about, okay, like, if we say Shikaka, that means you have to like go on your knee. Why? Like, it's just a game. Uh, like every time someone says Shikaka, you have to go on your knee. Uh, <laughs> right. And once you say it, you're in the game for life. Oh, oh, oh. For life. Oh, dear. Um, there's like funny pictures backstage of like our tour managers, and we like kiss him every night before the show, and like just like we just have fun backstage. It's all it's all kooky, but it's professional as well. You know, yeah. we, ha we have to be or else the show doesn't Now, do you, have, do you have, I'm sure you have crazy uh, costume changes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like you have to wear the... Yeah. Cows? So, okay. Yeah. So at the end of the show, Fiona transforms from this version that you see to an ogre. Yeah. And it, it all happens in 45 seconds. Oh my So I have to strip this off yeah. and put like this big fat suit on and paint my face and put a prosthetic nose on and a wig and ears and like it all happens so quickly. There's like seven people helping me. I just kind of stand there and I'm like... Pump, 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 right? Yeah, 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 so that's a really quick change. And the ensemble has even quicker changes than me. Um, you know, they go from... In, in the very beginning of the show, there's like angry villagers and like two seconds later they come out as all these fairy tale creatures. So it's like, how is that happening? But Yeah, this madness. So there's a big group of people doing all the costumes yeah, for yeah. everybody. Oh my gosh, yeah. We hire local people to every city we come to that help with the costumes and makeup and um, the crew. And the rehearsals for the changes must be made. Yeah, we, we, every time we are at a new city, we have a, um, a dress rehearsal pretty much where um, all of the crew that's new gets to, you know, experience the show and like know what's going on and get used to their track. Would there be, were there anything, anything lost in translation in well, different countries, right? Yes, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes the language barrier is very difficult to overcome, but you know, it's, it's always worked out. I mean, there's, there's little miscommunications here and there that, um, sometimes translate on stage but for the most part it's it's always goes well yeah i mean you could appear as the donkey one night and you okay i don't think you would get that confusing i mean do you think i look like a donkey <laughs> well they could put the wrong costumes on you mm, that's actually you know what that happened that happened one time what? to one of our one of our ensemble members was supposed to go on stage as another person and they put him in a different costume, oh, like no, on that, accident. So then? he like didn't go on stage, and there was like, oh. I mean, the audience didn't know. We of knew. Course, Usually, yeah. the audience has no idea yeah, that yeah, yeah. something has gone wrong because we cover it up so well, you know, because <laughs> we're professionals. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is Fiona a supporter of uh, Hillary, Bernie, or Trump? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, you know what? Fiona doesn't have doesn't have a say in that. 
Fiona doesn't yes. know what's going on. She just needs to She lives in her own world. That's right, in the swamp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 We rehearsed actually in New York City. Yeah. Um, we rehearsed for about a month in November. Um, and then we came to Istanbul, Turkey after that to do the technical process, which is putting in all the lights and the sets and the costumes and everything kind of all together for the first time. And that took two weeks. And then after that, we opened in Istanbul, Turkey. Tell us how you got the role. How I got the role. Okay. So, I have an agent, and my agent sent me in for this audition. And I went in, I thought I did terrible. Um, I didn't hear back from them for about a month, and I was like, great. I didn't get it. And then I hear from them, hey, Lindsay, come back in. We, we're really interested in you for the role. So I was like, oh, cool. Um, went back in, and they just kept having me come back and come back until it was down to three people. Um, you know, we had to like dance and sing and do scenes from the show. and. And when it came down to it, they picked me. I, I got a call one night, and I like dropped to my knees, and I was like, <laughs> but yeah. That's it. So you're the only one, no understudy? No, I have an understudy. I have two understudies. Um, one of them plays Jinji, and one of them is the Sugar Plum Fairy. She's actually gone on for me a few times, because I got sick once. Um, they're both great. You know, they're they're amazing, amazing people. They're so talented. You know, we're all, honestly, any one of us could do the roles. Okay. Tell, tell us what you like about playing Fiona. Um, what, what do you I enjoy like? really, you know, doing? She's just like a badass princess, you know? Yeah. She's not your typical, like, Belle or Ariel, you know? She's like Fiona who farts and burps and, <laughs> and like eats burgers. And, you know, she's just like... She's a rough, tough princess. Yeah, so, and you're like, just like that. You don't need a I mean, I'm not, I have a little more class, <laughs> I want to say, in real life. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay.